So it was on the 5th of December, 2013, when the late great Nelson Mandela passed on. And three hours later, I obtained this huge title. Uh, and that was a deep moment for me because it sort of felt like he was passing on the torch to me saying, here you go, because I've ran my race and I've completed my course. Now you go out there and be the one who brings about hope and change, not only to the youth of South Africa, but Africa as a whole. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mandla Maseko, and I will be the first black South African in space. So you're probably asking yourself, how did I get to become an astronaut? Well, simple. I had to jump off a wall, literally. And this is the image that started it all for me. Uh, Ex Apollo Space Academy was running a worldwide competition whereby they were promising to take 23 hopefuls to space. Yes, actual space. And I had to send this image to Metro FM on a show called The Touchdown. And they called me back and they asked me, why do I want to go to space? And I said, I want to defy the laws of gravity and possibly go down history as the first black South African in space. In space. And with that answer, I made it to the top 30 South Africans that were going to a space camp that was held in Paris Free State. And this is what went down. So here's the deal. X is running the craziest international competition where one lucky person will win themselves a trip into space. Yes, you heard me correctly, actual space. Today we're gonna to be putting 30 South Africans through grueling challenges to find out which lucky three will make their way to International Space Camp in Florida, USA. But before we get into any of those challenges, we're about to give these space cadets a rude awakening that they will never ever forget. Oh yes, ladies and gents, they are about to find out that space is not for sissies. And I've brought in your boy C to show you what's up for their first assignment. First up was the G-Force Challenge. Space cadets are spun at high speed experiencing extreme G-Force. All the while they need to collect a flag from their feet and move it to above their head. G-Force Challenge was insane. I thought at some point I was going to vomit. I still feel dizzy. The hardest part is getting back up to stick it. And as you can see, battle wounds. I can't even stand straight right now. For their second challenge, Space Cadets experience free fall in a tandem skydive. At 1,000 feet, they need to release their parachute and drop two sandbags onto a target on the ground. Dropping the sandbags was really hard. Yeah, I managed to get one um, on one of the white lines. I hit the, both of them on the target. From 30 down to 6, I'm gonna be the one going to space. In their next challenge, they're going to experience rocket ship type movement in an aerobatic stunt plane. They're going to have to answer a series of questions while in the air and memorize some questions on the ground. And then when they're back on ground, they're going to have to form a sentence using their words. Sounds insane? <laughs> well, rather them than me, let's check out how they got on. doing it again. So today we've seen people spin, fall from the sky and be rocketed around in a stunt plane and now it is finally time for the announcement. Let's find out which three of our astronauts will be making it to International Space Camp. Three, Orlando, Florida, I'll be seeing soon. 
Welcome to my kids, Dad. So, the three of us left for the Global Space Camp, the final leg of the competition. And it was held at Kennedy Space Center in Orlando, Florida, USA. And when we got there, we did vigorous challenges like your zero G flight, your flight simulation, your G force, your air convert jet, uh, the assault course. We even had to construct rockets. And at the end of it all, we had to write an aptitude test. And on the fourth day, we went for the graduation night. And out of 109 people from 75 countries, I made it to the top 23 people that will be launching into space, making me the first and only black South African and African people in space. Now, I will be part of World History through Exco Space Expedition as they are taking it to the next level. They are taking it further, higher, and faster. Exco will make sure that we fly as co-pilots as part of their mission to make space accessible to ordinary people like me and you. And this program is called the Future Generation Astronaut Program. And the name of the shuttle that I'll be launching into space with is called the Lynx Mark II. And this is basically how the flight will take place. The Lynx will take off from a normal runway in Curaçao Spaceport, Spaceport, just outside Mojave Desert. And immediately after it takes off, it shoots straight up into space traveling at the maximum speed of 3,553 3, km per hour. And in T minus 6 minutes, I will be out of space. So in simple terms, it's like driving from Jorvik to Pretoria in under 6 minutes. That's how fast it is. And spend some few minutes looking at Earth as this big round ball which is blue and white. And after looking at Earth as a, as a different perspective, we come back for the re-entry, then the glide, and then we land on the runway like a normal plane. That's how fast it is. And the process from taking off to coming back to land, it takes up to an hour. In conclusion, I would like to say, be a firm believer of the power of spoken words. And this is how it works. If there's anything that you want, Speak it out to the universe, and it's the universe duty to make sure that it delivers. Doesn't matter how big or small it is, it will always deliver. And if that doesn't work, then do like me. Defy gravity by making sure that in everything that you do, you make sure that you shoot for the moon. Trust me, even if you miss, you'll definitely learn the master stars. Thank you.